when they were young, 10, 15 years old, they were all asking themselves a question, when did they ever become independent? So the struggle for independence was intense. Sacrifice for the country was duty. But lo and behold, that generation never thought about uh, what they should do if they got independence. So the independence arrived, they were not ready. So our generation born after independence, we did not even have to fight for independence, but it was not. To sacrifice became a virtue. And the country was poor. There were truly huge challenges. Stecker had only four doors of money left to the time in India began to become a country. So we had a problem. So most of our children of deprivation, so we had no great ambitions in life. And that is one of the problems to, today because we are in the governance. We still have ambition of deficit. But your generation is very different. When most of you were born, India had already moved into this economic liberalization process. And India today is seen by the world as a rising star. India is seen today as a country which will probably uh, be one of the major economies of the world. Our uh, economic size, size of our economy today, the purchase power parity is fifth in the world. And the readjusted to the purchase power parity is the fourth in the world. By 2025 and 2030, we are predicted to be the third largest economy in the world. The world taking Japan. And that's the kind of direction we are. So you, you present here the Indian economy as your main function. Should that happen, it won't happen on its own. Somebody has to make all that happen. It is easy to perhaps bring about a change in the economy, but it's extremely difficult to marry with that change of economy with the values of the society at the same time. Very many times, the most uh, developed economies of the world find that the people are not at the end of the day. Their economies are good, they are wealthy, they don't have problems of the stress type that we have, but people are not as happy as even our religious people. Therefore, we need to ask the question, how do we ensure that our change process between now and 2020, 2035, or managed well today, such that we arrive at that global strength as an economic power, he just will not be a strong economic power, but will be a very moral society as well at the same time. Therefore, I thought that this is an opportunity that uh, is given to me. If you, you have given yourself the title, the expanding short tiers of technology, and the next frontier of technology is going to be in what direction? is an issue that all of us will have to address collectively. Then you also wrote for yourself one of the key features is a green technology. And I'm asking myself the question when I saw the title. Do we have color to technology, green technology, red technology, blue technology, and so on? Or is it the manner in which the technology is used we get different environmental consequences. And therefore, we have to select the right strand of technology that eventually gives us this, the, the benefits we want, but do not add to the, the, the challenges of the environment that we want to avoid. I'll share with you some analogy. 